hello welcome to Ofoi tv thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be alerted whenever i drop a new video but if you've been coming here and you have never subscribed please hit the subscribe button all you have to do is just sign in while you're on youtube with your gmail login information and then click on the subscribe so that you'll be officially part of the Ofoi tv family thank you so much for doing this Today, we are going to talk about how to prepare for your interview as a derivative. A derivative is someone who is an eligible immediate family member of the principal applicant. Remember, the principal applicant is a lottery winner. So the derivative could be a spouse or a child of the principal applicant or children of the principal applicant. Now, if you're a derivative, since you are applying for an immigrant visa, there are checklists of things that you must provide. The first thing will be your interview appointment letter. If you as a derivative, you are attending the interview in a different location separate from the principal applicant, then you must have your own interview appointment letter. The appointment letter will indicate the date of your interview the time of your interview and the location of your interview. But if you are attending the interview with the principal applicant, then one interview appointment letter is enough for the entire firm. The next thing will be your confirmation page. Your confirmation page will have your name, your full name there, the date that the DS-260 was completed the case number which will be the same as the case number of the principal applicant the ds260 confirmation number and then there will be a barcode it will be like tiny black lines that you can scan it is not for you to scan so don't attempt to scan it it is for the embassy to scan that the next thing will be a valid and unexpired passport you, the derivative, must have a passport regardless of your age. Your passport must not be expired. If it is expired, then it is no longer valid. If your passport has less than six months validity, please renew your passport. Because at the time of visa issuance, your passport must have minimum six months. So if at the time that you're going to issue your visa, if your passport has five months, 29 days, it is still less than six months. Please make sure that you have more than six months validity on your passport at the time of your interview. Additionally, you must have two fresh pages for the consular officer to be able to paste your visa on that page. When I talk about fresh page, I am talking about something like this no immigration stamp here no immigration stamp here this is fresh two pages one it's one sheet two pages one page one page you shouldn't have immigration stamps here you shouldn't have immigration stamps here so those of you who are frequent travelers who may have exhausted all the pages in your passport, please find out about how to get additional pages added in your passport. Find out if that is possible at your local passport office. This is not something that the embassy can do for you. The U.S. Embassy can do for you. No. You have to go to your country's passport office and ask them, you want additional pages in your passport. They will let you know whether they can do that or whether you should get your passport renewed. If your passport is renewed, you must bring the old passport and then the renewed passport together to the interview. The next thing will be a passport photograph. It will be two inches by two inches American size passport photo. Go to a photo studio, tell them you want an American passport photo and they will take that for you. 
write the full name of the person in that photo at the back and then their date of birth at the back. You need two copies of those pictures. They must be in color, not black and white. Next thing will be birth certificate. You must bring the original birth certificate of this derivative. The birth certificate, the original birth certificate. Regardless of who both parents are, you must bring the original birth certificate and a photocopy of that birth certificate. When I say original birth certificate, it should be on the original paper that you were issued. Not you scanning and printing on your computer in color. It should be on the actual paper you were issued the birth certificate on. The next thing will be medical exams. The derivative must also complete their medical exams. Find out about whether the medical facility will send your medical results directly to the embassy or you may have to come and collect it on your own for your interview. If you are attending these medical exams with the principal applicant, then it will be sent together to, as a family unit. So if the derivative is going for, went for the medical exams with their parent, then it will be put together under the same case and will be sent to the embassy together as a family. So you, the derivative, don't have to go through and collect your own medical report in that. The principal applicant can have everything under their case and then it will be sent to the embassy in instances where the medical lab sends everything together, all right? The next thing will be police certificate. If you are 16 years old or older, you definitely must provide at least one police certificate. If you are somebody who has lived in other places, then you may need to provide more police certificate. Please, if you want to find out about um, the requirement for the police certificate, please watch my video on police certificate. I have explained all of that. I've done that in English and I've done that in three for my Ghanaians. The next thing will be adoption papers. If this derivative was adopted, then you must have the original adoption decree from the court. If this derivative is a stepchild, then you must have a notarized letter from the other parent that allows this child to travel with the principal applicant. If this derivative is a child but will not be traveling with both parents, both biological parents, then a notarized letter giving consent from the other parent who will not be traveling with you must be presented at the interview. If the other parent is deceased, then you want to bring death certificate. That will show that there's no consent that needs to be obtained from anybody else. Because legally, when the other parent is deceased, then all legal responsibility falls on the parent who is alive, all right? Unless that right has been taken away from this parent. So if the other parent is deceased, then you need to bring proof that the other parent is deceased. So that's why I couldn't obtain permission from him or her. So those of you who are, if the derivative is a stepchild, then the principal applicant, you are traveling with the child without the other parent, then you need a notarized letter especially if the other parent cannot attend the interview with you. So those of you who are principal applicants, you, uh, you want to travel with a child, but you are with, the mother is okay with it. Then you can go to the interview with, together. You can let the mother stay outside or you can let the father stay outside. When you go and they ask you, is the father aware that you're taking it? You can tell them, oh, he's outside waiting for us outside. He's aware. 
or oh the mother she's outside the the consul officer may ask you to call the person to come inside right there have been some instances where they have asked the other parent who was waiting outside to come in so before you say that oh the other parent oh she's waiting outside oh i came with her she's outside oh i came with him he's outside before you say that make sure that you actually came with that person because they may ask for the person to be there i've seen cases where um, when the person said oh the oh the mother is outside the mother is outside the baby is outside with the mother the baby is outside with the father the consul officer didn't even ask for a notarized letter they didn't ask for any permission letter because if the person came to the interview with you then obviously that is an indication that they have given their permission right if i don't want you to travel with the child i wouldn't accompany you to the interview so um that is another option for some of you all right and finally guys the derivative your work experience your educational background will not be factored into the decision of this case but since this information if it was provided on the ds360 then if i were you i will bring it anyway if you put on the ds260 that you have completed secondary school you are a university graduate then you want to bring documentation you want to bring your school certificate because you stated on there not that it will be used in the application it will be factored into the case but you want to bring it just because you know me i go above and beyond if you stated that you are employed since it was on your ds260 that you are employed for this company this and that this and that you may want to bring the appointment letter from your job i know it will not be considered in this case but if the thing is there if it's too difficult to get it you don't have to climb my mountain afaja to to get it if you don't have to climb a uh, climb to get it then bring it and uh, just just it is there right but know that it is not going to have an impact on your case if the derivative is a spouse then you want to bring uh, proof of this marriage you want to bring your marriage certificate and you want to bring evidence of bona fide relationship if you want to know more about this and what it means and what you should gather please watch my other video about the documentation to show bona fide relationship go and watch that video to help you know how to put things together um putting your evidence together especially when it comes to photographs that would show that your marriage um when you got married um your life together in a timeline show that in a nice photo please i made a video recently you can go and watch that video and that should help you in putting together your pictures all right so if the derivatives are your children if the derivative is your spouse obviously your evidence must include photos so i made a video that you can watch and see how to make a nice photo album printed for your interview you don't have to get the old school photo the one on that paper right you can print it on just regular a4 paper you can print on just regular A4 paper. If the okay. derivative has been in the military, if you have been in the military, then you need to get your military records. Please, this apply to every applicant, whether you are the principal applicant or derivative. If you have been in the military, you have served in the military, you want to bring that record. Collect your record from your command and bring it for your interview the last but not the least will be your visa fee your visa fee is 330 dollars per person so it for the principal applicant will pay 330 dollars the derivative will also pay 330 dollars if you have derivatives then each one each member each human being whether it's baby one week old baby or a 99 year old uh, wife or husband you still pay the $330 per each person. 
you can find out from the embassy's website their currency exchange rate if you want to pay in your local currency but to avoid the hassle if you have the US dollars use that okay but if your money is short the embassy will send you back to go and get enough money to pay for your visa fee before your actual interview will commence. If you have a circumstance that fits in, not everybody has this circumstance, then you must provide documentation to explain why your situation is not like everybody. You must have documentation that explains why you are adopted, prove that you are adopted. Documentation that shows why your marriage was done in another day and registered later you must provide evidence and you must provide explanation why why is it that you got married this time but then uh, your your registration was done later why was this you should have a reason and if in circumstances where there must be an official document for that you must provide that official document so guys i hope that this helps you please Make sure that you watch the video for the principal applicant if you haven't. Um, watch out for my next video on if you're deriving your eligibility through your derivative, you want to definitely watch that video. Those of you who won the lotto, but you're winning, your eligibility, the chargeability is based on the home country of your spouse. Please watch my next video so that you don't make any mistakes guys please subscribe to the youtube channel follow me on facebook or for tv follow me on twitter if you have questions you can email me for tv at gmail.com if you need advice you want second opinion you want somebody to hear you out you already know the decision that you're going to make but you need somebody to just hear you out and see you know second opinion then you can book a consultation if you have prepared for your interview and you have done your checklist, you want me to take a second look for you, um, then you can book a consultation so that we can go over things because you don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to go for your interview and then later realize that this is something that you should have done before your interview. Um, when the situation gets mess, messed up like that, when your situation, when you go for the interview and things don't work the way you wanted them to and you're trying to recover from that, it becomes a little bit messy and a little bit difficult. So that's why if you have any, any, you want to make sure that things are okay, then definitely book a consultation. And the way to book a consultation is just send an email with a brief introduction about what the situation is you don't have to give too much details let me know what the issue is if it's something that a uh, consultation can be done then i will give you a link for you to book and pay for your consultation but guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video i love you and i'll see you on my next video Bye. -bye.